the droplets that form on the spider web uh, have some of the same characteristics that soap bubbles do in that they try to become little spheres and the surface tension of the water pulls the droplet in so that it becomes as spherical as it can. But an interesting thing happens. The, the liquid evenly distributes itself along the spider web, but as it's condensing, it essentially forms a long tube of water and it becomes unstable. If you've ever noticed when you turn on the faucet, if you have a nice stream coming out of the faucet, often partway down as it's falling down to the sink, it starts to separate into separate droplets. And particularly if you start with a very fine stream going down, you can observe this. Well, what's going to happen with the liquid on the spider web is the same thing. It's unstable and so it starts to separate into separate droplets and they're generally evenly distributed along because that's the least energy mechanism way to do it. And so you get this, this, um, this very finely gradated um, bubbles going straight along the, the, the web there. And they're beautiful. <laughs> what can you say? Like soap bubbles.